There is always variability, and it has big performance and cost consequences. Recognising it, understanding its impact, and directing efforts to reducing it is a major role of supply chain managers. But what are some of these causes? Well, here's a, a little breakdown of some of the biggest. First of all, seasonality. Demand for ice cream is higher in the summer than the winter. Fortunately, this is a nice predictable one, but it still presents a big operational challenge to the ice cream supply chain. Then we have something like changes in fashion, changes in influences and what's trending. Maybe this is fidget spinners, the latest computer game. The very word fashion is used to describe something that is in demand now, but wasn't before and may not be again in the future. Demand can change in a longer term when there are changes in customer income, for example. Maybe if there's a drop in the stock market, people feel less wealthy and demand for some luxury goods might fall. In fact, any number of sudden global changes, maybe you can think of one of them, can have sudden and drastic global changes on demand. Causes of changes in demand can be far more local as well. Let's say a competitor supplier who also makes or provides the same thing as you has problems, then possibly some of their customers will come to us. Gosh, that's a sudden surge in demand. Then we also have ones that are self-created. A marketing drive, putting a product on promotion. The very reason we're doing this is to get a surge in demand. I'm sure this looks good in the short-term sales figures, but operationally and for the supply chain, well, there are consequences. Finally, we must acknowledge there is usually just simple, uncontrollable, unknowable randomness. It happens, but when there's so much that we can do to control the variation of our demand, we don't need to worry about that bit. Mm -hmm.